All right, for today we have a review of the LEGO Jungle Half-Track Mission set. This is set 60159, and it contains 378 pieces. As you can see from the front of the box, uh, you're going to get a pair of vehicles and a little bit of a, a jungle shrine build. And then flipping it around just so you can kind of see the back, uh, it shows off some of the play features, including... Um, the uh, the the puma and sort of you can attach a chain to this little build and rip the ruby out and race away with your treasure. So I obviously haven't built this quite yet, um, but that's what I'm about to do next. Um, I managed to grab this from my local Walmart on sale uh, this week, so it was one that I kind of really just wanted. I think mostly for that and this little build looked. Uh, a little bit interesting, although I'm not sure how big it actually is. So we'll uh, we'll take a look. Um, so I'll be back in just a second after building this, and I'll give you my thoughts. All right, so this set is basically broken down into three numbered bags. Each uh, numbered bag has its own little uh, instruction booklet, which is a little bit weird. It seems like an awful lot of paper and an awful lot of books for what is actually such a small set. Um, and the set also includes 10 stickers that you have to apply to uh, sort of finish things off. But for bag number one, you don't actually use any of these stickers. So I'll show that when I get to bags two and three. But let's start uh, with bag number one. So bag number one, basically you build the small stuff. So uh, one of the first things that you put together is this incredibly small uh, little campfire. You do get an extra one of those uh, flame slash feather pieces um, in in the box. So that's nice just to have an extra one. Uh, but I mean, this is, uh, you know, just it, it's nothing. Um, I do like that's the one by one with the hole in the middle. So that's nice, um, but otherwise, uh, this this is, yeah, I, I don't really know why it's there. Um, you also get a small little crate uh, or storage bin. Um, for reasons that are not entirely clear, you get a metal detector, uh, and then I guess you get two pieces that are supposed to be for that fire, so you get a silver pan and a chicken or turkey leg. Again, um, I get that you can use the... The turkey leg, I guess, is bait for the uh, the big cat, um, but otherwise, you know, I, yeah, that it is what it is. And then uh, you build your first figure, which I really do like. Um, this particular uh, lady does have a alternate face in the back, which you can't see with her hair on, which is nice. Um, but she's obviously looking a little bit scared about the whole prospect of going into the jungle, which I think is perfect. And I like that hair piece with sort of the the bun, the pulled up hair. Um, she gets a camera for her accessory. There's nothing really special about uh, the pants here, but the shirt is really nice. Let's see if I can get a little more light on it. You can kind of see that it does have a bit of silver uh, glow to it. Um, so the printing there is, is nice. And the back side also, she has her canteen and what appears to be a walkie-talkie along with like a backpack kind of thing looking on so uh, all together um very nice very nice figure i also really like the black panther i think that's what that's supposed to represent here um it does have some uh flexibility in terms of how you can pose it so for example you can have it just sort of down here the head goes up and down uh as you can see and then you can also pose it on its hind legs so that you can make it sort of being more inquisitive or perhaps attacking something or really going for that chicken leg if you may have it hanging from a tree or something. So uh, I bought the set basically <laughs> for this uh, guy because I didn't have any of these and I'm certainly uh, happy with it. Nice printing on for the eyes, otherwise it's just black. Uh, you can't move the tail, that's solid. There's no wiggle there, which would have been nice if that was articulated a bit, but um, yeah, otherwise really nice. So no complaints. And then the final thing for bag one is this little, uh, I guess, off-road Jeep slash four-wheeler. It's a little bit bigger than a four-wheeler, but it's smaller than a Jeep. So it's kind of in that weird uh, size as to, like, it, I don't really exactly know what it's supposed to be modeled after. Um, I do like that they try to mimic, the light's a little bit hard to see if I pop the tire off, you can. 
uh, by using a couple blue studs there. They try to mimic um, shocks. So that makes it a little bit nice, you know, just, just for the sort of how it looks. But otherwise, this is entirely forgettable. Um, the color scheme is nice. I mean, it's it's fine. It, it is what it is. I like the big tires. Um, but, you know, as you'll see when we get to bags two and three, um, I'm not sure that that was necessary. The crate does fit on there very nicely. I think that looks better than without it, um, with it just off. But again, you know, there's there isn't a lot there. So that's uh, that's bag one which was sort of the least exciting in some sense, except it had the cat, which is what I wanted the set for. So uh, next up, let's look at bag two. All right, so I said a second ago that there were three uh, sets of bags and three instruction booklets. There are three instruction booklets. There are actually four sets of bags. Um, two of them go for instruction booklet two, where you build the main vehicle. So I thought I'd just take a second to show off what you get actually just from bag two, because you don't always get to see that on uh, certainly video reviews and this way you're gonna get to see a little bit of sort of how they design this in case you want to build something similar on your own so first off there are 10 stickers like I said a moment ago in the set nine of them are now on the vehicle so one two three four of those um, sort of making the metal plates of the truck uh, there's an extra sticker there that's not particularly useful and then you have uh, two there and two on the other side so just based on this sort of chassis alone, um, it's obviously very uh, thick. It's sturdy. It's not going to break or fall apart. And just to pop off the hood, which you're not really supposed to do, but that's what they did there. And I always love that LEGO likes to add in just like one by one bricks of random colors in the middle of their sets when they get hidden. And so for this particular set, you get that green one. That red that you see there, if I take the front off, that's a two by three uh studs not on the side there so or studs on the side i should say so that's how they put that whole thing together so let me reassemble my truck here all right so that's basically what you get there again they're using sort of the white there to to simulate shocks i guess up here i guess the white is supposed to simulate the engine that's a little bit weird to me um the front they use the new roll bar uh thing which just clips on and then sits there but if you look at it from the side it actually angles like straight down so those lights are going to be pretty useless um, i think that the clip that they uh, have you attach uh, right there to i think that needed to come out one more stud so that this could could sort of lie uh, perpendicular so your headlights were looking forward so i think that's a a bit of a design misstep in my mind um, i also while the sticker there for the to simulate the door, I guess, is, you know, it's nice enough looking. And, of course, there's one on the other side as well. Um, I kind of wish they just went with the yellow doors, especially, I mean, that's a that's a three stud long thing, which is what the doors are, so they could have done that. Um, I have no problem with that sticker. That's fine. Uh, on the back side, I do not like that you put the sticker here, but this is actually a uh, corner tile piece. So good luck reusing that and something else because once you put the sticker on there, there's not really a lot of options that you can do besides basically exactly what you have here. Um, so I think that that's a, a bit of a design flaw as well. Um, but otherwise, that's just the, the top half. Of course, we want to see the whole thing put together. So we'll look at that next. Um, but before I do that, this is the second figure in the set. Um, he has no back face, but he does have uh, some nice printing on the back. He has like a coil of rope there and a walkie-talkie and stuff. He looks like a good jungle explorer. He also looks like maybe he got in a little bit of a, of a fight. Let's see if I can get the camera to zoom in there. There we go. You can kind of see that. A little bit of a scratch there. Um, the set comes with obviously a machete for him, and then you get a second machete uh, either maybe for the uh, female worker or you can clip it actually to the side of the car um, which I'll show you that next all right and now through the magic of video editing here's the completed truck uh, I think that the final result is much much nicer than obviously just the chassis itself was I still don't like the light but let's take a look at what we have there so first thing uh, pop those up like they should be 
Um, I really do like those upper lights. Uh, obviously, they bend down easily, but you can kind of position them sort of how you want. So that does, I guess, provide more forward illumination than just the, the front two headlights would. Um, there's the uh, machete attached. And on the other side, they give you a walkie-talkie. And then the main star of the, uh, the show here is obviously the sort of tank treads that uh, this truck has with the large front tires. Um, these spin very easily, sort of independently. Uh, this will move uh, also independently, um, but they have the little cheater wheels on the underside here. Those are just uh, Technic wheels with a rubber um, ring around them. Basically, it's an O-ring. Uh, but that makes sure that when you're going over, say, smooth surfaces like hardwood floors or linoleum or tile or something like that, that maybe that uh, plastic one uh, grip on that you can actually make sure that you're going to end up with uh, you know making it look like the truck is actually moving and the treads move as the truck does because basically let's be honest all anyone wants to do is push the truck along and see those treads move so um, you do get this chain on the back which is a little bit annoying uh, to just kind of hold on to but it does sort of fit up in the the truck bed now this doesn't tip or anything um, it's just a static truck bed but I think it looks good and with the truck complete, um, this definitely looks like a hardy jungle vehicle, which, you know, is sort of all the more reason why the secondary vehicle is so goofy. It's such a, a small, small thing um, compared, to, compared to the other one. So that's, uh, that's two-thirds of the set, but now we still have the jungle to look at, so we'll look at that next. All right, and here's our final build of the set. This is the third set of instructions, the fourth bag actually of pieces. And this is what you get of the jungle temple, a um, little bit. Um, it looks pretty good from the front. It's a lot smaller than the box maybe makes it appear, but you know, it, it looks okay. Um, it does have one very simple play feature. If you pull on this, you can make the spider come out and fall on the person trying to get the ruby. Um, so. Just to show that again, it's a very simple little mechanism. Uh, the spider's a nice nice design. I didn't have a spider either, so that was a nice thing for me to get. Um, but, you know, it's, it, looks, it looks pretty good from the front. When it's actually sort of in prime set, you can actually see the spider. So, you know, that's kind of stupid. A uh, person would probably take care of the spider first before they reach for that... Uh, Ruby, but otherwise, you know, it's okay. I, I like the the top design here. It sort of looks fine. Um, it's got some nice bits of texture here. Almost kind of looks like a little dude standing there. Um, along the sides, uh, I love the included uh, plant pieces. I wish Lego would include plant pieces in more of their sets. I think it just makes everything look better. Um, however, for reasons that sort of uh, befuddle me, I even went back and looked. You're supposed to have this little blue peg sticking out here. There's one on the other side as well. And nowhere do you attach anything to it or do anything with that. So that's a little bit weird. And I think from the back side, this doesn't really look that good. Um, but you do get, although I don't think it's intended necessarily, you do get a little bit when the uh, treasure's pulled forward, you actually could hide more stuff underneath there. Um, the spider won't fit, it's too big. But you could put a gem or something there. Uh, I don't really know what the point of that is because then you've already pulled out this gem and now you've just exposed more treasure. So it's kind of pointless, but, you know, it's, I guess, uh, a little extra play feature that kids could certainly have fun with. So that's, uh, that's that. So if we put everything together, we've got the jungle piece, which now you can see why I said is great, grossly undersized. Um, when you compare that to the main truck. And then, and then we've got the smaller truck, which fits a little bit closer to scale with that jungle piece. But again, I would say it's still too, too big for the little tiny bit. And then of course we get our couple of animals, uh, our creatures, I guess. So you get the spider and the uh, puma. And finally our two figures. And, and that concludes our look at the set. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more in the future.